stop scrolling right now. If you are graduating in 2026, then don't skip this video. Google is now hiring 2026 graduates for their software engineering roles. And in this video, I am going to break down everything you need to know about this role that not only includes the basic details of this role, I am going to share you some insider tips that can literally double your chance of getting shortlisted. So stay with me till the end of this video because even if you skip one second of this video, you might miss an important information about this opportunity. Hey everyone, welcome back to Beyond Btech. This is I and I am on a mission to bring you high value life changing career content for all the engineer students across India. Today, we are diving deep into one of the most prestigious role, the software engineer role at Google. So if you are new to here, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Beyond Btech and share this video with your friends and let's dive in. Let's start with the most important details. Google is hiring software engineers for the 2026 batch and guess what, these are the full time roles and not just internship. And the locations available are Bangalore, Hyderabad, Gurgaon and Mumbai and also Pune. And these are all the top tech hubs of India. This gives you a massive chance to work where innovation happens every single day. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria. Firstly, you should have bachelor degree in computer science or any related field and you should have experience in at least one major language like C, C++, Java or Python and you should be experienced with Unix or Linux environments and you should know about distributed systems and also you should have knowledge on machine learning and information retrieval and also you must know about the networking and TCP or IP protocols. So even if you are in still college, start learning from now so you can confidently tick off these requirements. Of course, having the minimum qualification gets you in the door, but I'm going to share you some preferred qualification that can literally double your chance of getting shortlisted. So let's talk about them. Firstly, you should have a strong foundation in DOS structures and algorithms and you should have experience with large scale system design and you should have knowledge of natural language processing and AI concept and you have to build real world projects, not just tutorials and you should have strong problem solving skills demonstrated on platforms like lead code, code forces or code chip. And remember, Google loves proof, not just promises. So show them what can you build. Now let's talk about the application process. Firstly, go to the Google's carriage page. Link is in the description. You can go and check it out and click on the apply button. Then you have to create your Google's carrier account. In that, you have to fill your basic details and also you have to upload your resume. And after filling all these details, hit apply button. That's it. The application will be submitted. But wait, before you rush, your resume needs to be world class and in a minute, I will be sharing you some secret tips that can literally double your chance of getting shortlisted. So make sure you stay with me till the end of this video and I am going to share you some secret resume tips in a moment. Now, as I told you at the beginning, I am going to share you some resume tips that can literally help you a lot because resume is your first impression and trust me, recruiters spend only 6 to 8 seconds scanning it. So here's what you need to do. Firstly, start with a strong headline like AI and ML enthusiast or you can mention software developer and add 2-3 to three impactful projects especially real world projects and showcase your DSA problem solving skills and also include relevant internships, hackathons and certifications and you must keep it one page only. This makes short time powerful, no recruiters like long 2-3 to three page resumes so make sure you make it one page and apply to it. And let me tell you one more tip, use action words like developed, engineered and optimized instead of boring ones like worked on because this will help you to increase your ATA score. Now let's break down Google's interview process so you know exactly what to expect. Firstly, there will be round 1, online assessment round. They will give you some DSA problems that are medium to hard level and some coding plus debugging questions. And if you get shortlisted there, then there will be two rounds for the technical interviews. Two rounds are based on deep problem solving skills. You should focus on algorithms, system design basics and the round 4 will be able to you on your behavior and leadership skills. So if you prepare systematically then these rounds are totally clickable. Let me tell you exact 90 day preparation plan to help you succeed. For phase 1 from day 1 to day 30 master DSA basics focus on arrays, strings, linked list and focus on trees and graphs also and practice 2-3 to three problems daily on lead code. And the phase 2 will be from day 31 to day 60, dive into system design basics and build 2-3 to three real world projects that can impact your resume. And in phase 3, from day 61 to day 90, 
take mock interviews and revise weak areas and focus on speed and accuracy and if you follow this you will be ready to crack any interview think about it millions of students dream of working at google but only a few will take action today if you have watched this till now then you are already ahead of 90 percent of them don't wait for the perfect time this is the perfect time imagine opening that email from google saying Congratulations, you have been selected. Goosebumps, right? That can be you, but only if you start now. So apply it as app and start preparing from now. And before we end up this video, let's recap today's video. Google is hiring 2026 graduates right now and the eligibility is clear and achievable and the application process is super simple but competitive and prepare strategically with DSA projects and mock interviews. Now do two things for me. Make sure you smash the like button so that this video reaches more students like you and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any update from me and if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to beyond Tech and share this video with your friend and if you are new to here make sure you go through the home page you will see gold mine of opportunities go through every video and apply to the every opportunity eligible and see you in the next one until then keep learning and keep going this is Sai signing off